This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing coming straight up out of that DMV. You know what it is. This that Baltimore designer right here. Come on now. Come and show some love and show some support. Go online right now. CoolGreenClothing.com and make your purchase. Oh yeah, by the way, if you ain't cool and getting the green, you're in a way. And that's just basic. I, I. What's going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end. They hear the full story and all the details in the case for the day one fam. Y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Oh, yeah. And feel free to share the channel with your peoples. Everybody is welcome. Let's get right into the story. Relationships can be difficult enough if two people are not on the same page with each other. But when you add a child or children to that mix, it can become even more complicated. Some couples try to stay together and make things work out once they realize they have brought a life into this world that will depend on them for at least the next 18 years. But sometimes, even when both parties' intentions are to do what's best for the child, for whatever reasons, things just don't work out that way. For some, they have no problem moving on, just making sure they take care of their child and try to co-parent together the best way possible. But things can get tricky when your child's mother or father starts to see somebody else and the new relationship gets serious to the point they are around your kid. Most of us know that's just a part of the split and as long as the person treats your child right, everyone could be cordial. But that all depends on what type of parent you are. You have individuals that want their kids raised a certain kind of way. They want to monitor what they are exposed to, what they eat, how they dress, even the schools they attend. As a parent, that's your right. But we also have to understand, even though that might be your child, that child has another parent as well. And when there's no mutual understanding on co-parenting, a petty situation could take a turn for the worse. And on this episode of The Baltimore Way, we'll discuss the case of a man's holiday visit to his baby mother's house that went all the way left after he felt her new boyfriend disrespected his kids. Back in 2022, 32-year-old Darian McFarlane was navigating life in Baltimore. Like most of us that came up in certain environments, he had a little bit of a troubled past with a few run-ins with the police. But Darian had became a more laid-back person after having kids. Now a father and knowing how treacherous the city could be without the right guidance, he wanted to do right, stay out of trouble, and be there to raise his babies. His relationship with his baby mother was on the up and up at first. It seemed they had genuine love for each other and both had their focus on being a family. But for whatever reasons, the relationship would run its course and the two would split up. But that didn't stop the man from being a father. He often went to her apartment over east on Eagle Street to visit his kids, take them with him, and drop them back off. It seemed the two had no problems co-parenting. But as time went on, Darian's baby mother, who we will call Ted for the sake of this story, had moved on and got into another relationship with a 28-year-old man named Michael Morrison. Michael was also a father of his own kids. Described as a good guy and a hard worker, he started off in construction to take care of his kids. And eventually, without having a criminal record, he became a licensed armed security guard. The two men were not exactly friends, but they weren't on bad terms either. Michael, being a father himself, understood to stay in his lane, let Darian and Ted handle their business as they furthered their relationship. Close to Christmas in 2022, Darian had made plans with Ted to come see his kids for the holidays. On December 23rd, he got up that morning and headed to his baby mother's house. When he got there, there was a few people there already, including Michael. As everyone was talking, Michael and Ted continued their conversation as Darian spent time with his kids. Somewhere in the conversation, Darian observed Ted and Michael cussing and felt that was inappropriate, especially around his babies. Feeling like it wasn't that serious, the couple kept on chopping it up, but Darian addressed the issue more aggressively. 
Like, yo, watch your mouth around my kids. Michael Peep and Darian was on a different type of time. Let it be known, him and Ted was just talking. And he needed to focus on his kids, not what they had going on. The two men would start going back and forth. Soon after, a scuffle started. Michael had his gun on him, but somehow Darian got it before a shot went off, hitting Michael in the head. Darian, in the panic, told everyone in the house, his kids, Ted, and her peoples to get in his car. Let's go. We got to leave. He drove everybody to another house. People on the block who heard the shot called BPD. They responded to the 1600 block of Eager Street around about 11.30 a.m. to find Michael suffering from a gunshot wound to the head. Unfortunately, he will be pronounced gone on the scene. People let it be known a young lady and kids stayed there, but they wasn't around. Not too long after, Darian went on a run and his kids and baby mother returned home. When police came around asking questions, they asked her peoples who was at the house that day what took place. They stated Darian was mad at Michael and Ted for cussing around his kids, so he zapped out, started fighting with Michael before grabbing his weapon, shooting him with his own gun. With that, a warrant was put out for Darian. Almost a month would go by before he was located. On January 18th, 2023, he was taken into custody, charged with first degree hit, three counts of possession of a firearm by a felon, also possession of bulletproof armor. Darian didn't say much, but a search of his cell phone revealed text messages with him allegedly admitting to shooting Michael over disrespect. As the case started making its way to trial, Darian's lawyer argued it was all self-defense, claiming it was kill or be killed after the argument. Stating Michael got mad and upped his gun, and after a struggle, Darian grabbed it from him and shot. The state's witness was Ted's people, who was at the house that day. But even though at first telling police they saw everything that happened, they recanted their statement, stating they really were asleep. But a jail call would come back to hunt Darian where he allegedly told somebody on a recorded line exactly what happened, stating, yeah, I shot him. As the state felt, the man showed no remorse for his actions. Michael's family was in the courtroom as well, and his father stated he was a good-hearted young man and the situation was senseless. In the end, Darian was found guilty of second-degree hit and handgun violations and sentenced to 60 years in prison. Rest in peace to Michael. I send my prayers and condolences to his family and kids. This is one of those situations you can only judge depending on your character. Some might say Darian was right for pressing up on the situation, but some might say he overreacted. So I'ma let y'all call this one. Do you think it was a respect thing and Darian felt Michael disrespected him and his kids? Or do you think it was more of an ego and pride thing? Watching another man get close to his baby mother, spending the holidays at her house around his kids. And also, do you feel like if your baby mother or baby father moves on, it's okay for them to have that significant other around y'all kid? And if so, what's the best way to communicate so everyone can be on the same page? Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Yeah, man, rest in peace to Michael. Like I said, I sent my prayers to his family and his kids. But I ain't going to talk too much more about this one. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. This is another episode of the Baltimore Way. It's your boy Tony two times. Love, fam. I'm out.